hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 14th tutorial in this course and uh, in this tutorial and uh, in the next couple of tutorials in fact I'm going to talk about uh, background properties and uh, how you can set an image in the background of your HTML documents or how you can play with colors so uh, as you can see I've got a file opened up in my text editor it's called background1.html and uh, in this file in the body section I've got lyrics from uh, the song I'm Not Afraid by Eminem and uh, I've got two paragraphs basically and there are you know a bunch of break tags uh, to have uh, the lines of text on different lines and uh, then the second paragraph just has uh, a hyphen and the word Eminem right so within the style section I've got uh, you know a couple of style rules uh, for the paragraph element and I've got one style rule for the body element so we're gonna come to this later let's uh, first check out the rules that I have for the paragraph uh, element so uh, I haven't put in any values for any of these properties except font size which has uh, a value of 18 points so I've just uh, increased the size of the font for the paragraph and uh, I haven't set a value for the color I haven't set a value for background color so you know let me just open this document uh, the way it is right now in the browser and show you how the file looks so this is how it looks plain and simple white background with black text two paragraphs you know it's really very simple so let's say you want to change the background color to gray right so what you would have to do is over here you'll have to put in gray or you could also you know get the hexadecimal code for the color gray and put that in place of uh, the word gray here I'll save the file I'll go to my browser and refresh the page and there we go we see that the background color for the paragraphs is uh, now gray right so this rule has been applied only to the paragraphs it hasn't been applied to the entire web page so if you would have uh, set this property for the body element then you would have seen uh, you know that the background color for the entire page would have uh, been changed to gray so let me change the color of the text to white you know just to show you guys a bit of contrast although black and gray also make a good combination but this certainly looks better so now in the folder in which I have this file I also have a you know I have an image file of Eminem so I'll open it and show it to you so this is how it looks and uh, it's in the PNG format and you know let's say you want to have this image as the background of your document so what you'll have to do for that is you know if you want the image to be applied to the entire document then obviously you'll have to apply the property to the body element so that's why on line number 13 I have a rule background hyphen image there's a colon and then I have the text URL and uh, a set of empty parentheses so between these parentheses you have to type in uh, the name of the image that you want to have as your background image so you know my file is called Eminem and remember I have this file in the same folder as I have this document so that's why I don't have to type in the full path here I can just type in the name of the image and get away with it but if suppose you are working with documents that reside on different directories in a server then you know um, you would probably have to mention the full path here so I'll save the file I'll go to the browser refresh and this is what I see so let me just get rid of uh, you know this background color here and refresh so this is our final file with the background image the color of the text is white so you know we've learned a couple of things you know first thing uh, that we learned was how to set the background color for the paragraph element and then you know we learned how to get uh, an image in the background of our documents so that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll uh, continue our discussion on uh, background properties in CSS and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you soon till then take care